This is mathematics with AMS. We are come to grade 8 lesson on exponents. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Compare and represent whole numbers in exponential form. If you look at that little drawing, you'll notice that A is the base, B is the exponent, or we can also call it the index, and together we call it a power. So a number can be written in as repeated multiplication of another number. Example, 27 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3, which is then 3 to the power 3. Or you can write in exponential form, for instance, 5 to the power 1 is 5. That is, any number to the power 1 is itself. 5 to the power 0 is 1. Any number to the power of 0 is 1. And 5 to the power 2 is 5 times 5, which is 25. And it is not 5 times 2, which is 10. Please take note. If the bases are the same, the higher the power, the larger the number. Example, 2 to the power 4 is greater than 2 to the power 2. If the bases are not the same, we calculate the value of the number of powers and then compare them. Example, example 4 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 4. 4 to the power 3 is 64. 3 to the power 4 is 81. Thus, 3 to the power 4 is greater than 4 to the power of 3. Let's write the following numbers in exponential form. So it is 1 times 1 times 1, 5 times. So therefore, 1 to the power of 5. 6 times 6 times 6, 6 times. So therefore, 6 to the power of 6. Then we can do it the opposite, where we can write now in expanded form. So 1 to the power of 5 will be 1 times 1 times 1, 5 times. 7 to the power 7 will be 7 times 7, 5 times. Of course, the first 5 to the power 0 is 1. If you must arrange in ascending order, then of course the smallest number is 5 to the power 0, because it's a 1. Then 16 to the power 1 is 16. Then 3 to the power 3 is 27. 6 to the power 2, and then 4 to the power of 5. Now, if we compare and represent integers in exponential form, that means if I bring in my negatives now, then I must remember a negative number raised to a power must be inserted in brackets. Example, negative 5 all squared is the same as negative 5 times negative 5, which is a positive 25, as opposed to a negative outside the bracket. So that means it is Inside the bracket is 5 times 5, which is 25, and then it becomes a negative 25. When a negative integer is raised to an even power, then the answer is positive. Like negative 2 to the power 4, which is even, will give you a positive 16. Or when the negative integer is raised to an odd power, like negative 3 to the power 5, then it will give you negative 243. Compare the following integers and insert a greater than, less than, or an equal sign. Negative 675 to the power 0 is a negative 1. And of course, negative 4 to the power 6, it gives you 4096. So therefore, negative 1 is less than 4096. Negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. Of course, is equal to also negative 125. So the two are equal. Right in expanded form, negative 9 to the power 6 will be negative 9 6 times. Negative 4 to the power 8 will be negative 4 8 times. Negative 1 to the power 3 will be negative 1 3 times. Say whether the sign of the answer is negative or positive. Explain why. Negative 3 to the power 6. The answer will be positive because 6 is an even number. Negative 5 to the power 11 will be negative because 11 is an odd number. Then negative 7 to the power 5 is odd. So it will be negative times a negative outside will become a positive. And then of course negative outside, 3 to the power 4 will be a positive answer times a minus outside will be negative. Right, so let's recap. 
A square is a number with two identical factors. A cube is a number with three identical factors. Finding square roots means finding the two identical factors that multiply together. So to form the number, which is the square of the factor. Finding cube roots means finding the three identical factors that multiply together to form the number, which is the cube of the factor. If the bases are the same, the higher the power, the larger the number. If the bases are not the same, we calculate the value of the number of powers and then compare them. When a negative integer is raised to an even power, the answer is positive. And when a negative integer is raised to an odd power, the answer is negative. This is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Amps. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.